Tonight, the 12 News I team is exposing one of those missed opportunities that could have saved one teen's life. For two weeks, the 12 News I team has been investigating how a resident of a state licensed group home brought a gun into the facility and shot and killed another resident. Tonight, the I team has exclusively obtained new records revealing that this was not the first time that guns were brought into that facility in that same week. Tonight, the group's homeowners and DCS were well aware. Team Tulsa Bianca Bono joins us live in studio. And Bianca, when were these guns found? Well, guys, the fatal shooting happened early on September 1st, and we're now finding out on August 29th, three days before, Phoenix police found nine guns in one room at the facility, a massive red flag that both North Star and DCS were aware of. And yet less than 72 hours later, police say a resident brought another gun onto the allegedly secure campus and shot and killed someone. Shocking records obtained by the 12 News I team listing out the arsenal of weapons found by Phoenix police in one single room at this state licensed group home for teenage boys. The disturbing discovery outlined in these search warrant documents was made on August 29th, three days before police say a resident shot and killed another at the North Star facility. I was appalled and I heard four guns. Ken Miller used to work for North Star. He left a few weeks before the incident and heard from colleagues that four guns were found. In actuality, it was nine guns, including an AM-15 rifle, a gun hidden inside of a teddy bear, a gun with a Glock switch, making it a fully automatic weapon, plus a vial full of blue pills suspected to be synthetic fentanyl. Several of the guns were reported stolen. These are young kids' lives who are affected because someone's not doing their job. According to police records, six residents were detained at the facility on Mountain View Road near 19th Avenue in Peoria. One of them, Trevance Sales, was taken into custody on an outstanding warrant. He was released a short time later, but wouldn't survive the week. The kids' lives, it's, it's someone's going to get hurt by these guns, and it's not an issue. Well, shame on everybody for crying out loud. North Star has declined multiple requests for an interview, but a spokesperson passed the buck to DCS, saying DCS was notified about the guns and drugs found, but the state only removed one resident, saying the others were under review. Less than three days later, though, one of those residents, Trevance Sales, was shot and killed at the facility. These kids' lives should mean something to somebody and not just dollar signs. Emails provided to 12 News show Miller has been raising safety concerns for months. He says at the Mountain View facility, there is no security and residents come and go as they please. They're supposed to check in at the office and have their bags searched, but Miller says that rarely happened. DCS, that can close a place down. I mean, they've closed places down for sexual abuse of a minor because, you know, it's like, but they're not going to close a place down for someone who dies. 12 News has attempted to speak with North Star's owners, Thurston Jennings and Adam Titus, as well as CEO Tom Delhanty. None have responded, and Miller believes they are part of the problem. I truly want to send TJ, Adam, and Tom a bar of soap and say this is to help wash the blood off her hands because this should be on you. And we asked North Star spokesperson how a resident could bring a gun into the facility just days after it was made clear that guns were a problem there. North Star spokesperson again pointed the finger, saying that would be a question for police guys. Wow, it's mm. very jarring to hear him be so frank, open, and honest about that. Okay, so what can they really do to keep these kids safe? So, Tram, I've had a lot of conversations with North Star spokesperson on the phone on background, and he said that they are really limited in what they're allowed to do, and he says that's because of state guidelines. He says that the staff there are limited in what they can do. He said they can't really do pat-downs. They can't use metal detectors. They can search backpacks at sort of a checkpoint, but according to multiple staff that we've spoken to, that step has really been overlooked and really passed up by the residents who realize they can kind of bypass that process. All right, Bianca, so we know that this place has received several complaints. Obviously, police have come in here. Why is this facility still open? Why are they still continue to operate? Yeah, that's the big question. And so far, DCS has declined all of our interview requests. But we know that DCS has the power to shut facilities down if they do deem them to be too much of a problem, too dangerous for residents. And we do know that this particular facility is under investigation. Mm. All right, so much more to come. Bianca, thank you so much Great for that. Great job, Bianca.